today we're doing a dinosaur build battle i'm a blue pterodactyl so i can fly roxy you're a red t-rex i can chomp you up right now but i'm nice wow oh my god and then luke you're a green raptor i'm a raptor i'm gonna chomp you up boy Whop! hey chill out luke at lily you're a triceratops oh, uh, look how pretty i look oh my gosh you look awesome and today we're gonna build habitats for our specific dinosaurs so lily your dinosaur is a herbivore that means you eat only plants you don't be eating animals okay i so make your habitat grassy and Roxy, you're a T-Rex. So that means you eat meat. You need a bunch of animals to jump on. I see some meat right here and it looks so tasty. What? Um, are you talking about me? Hey, hey, hey. No, it no, no, no. Friendly Roxy. fire. Yeah, that's friendly fire, Roxy. We're friends. You can't attack me. You have to build your habitat with a bunch of meat and a place for a T-Rex to live in. All right, I'm going to build the best home for me in the world. Nice. And now, Luke, you're a raptor. And raptors are omnivores. That means you eat both what the triceratops eats, which is plants, and what a T-Rex eats, which is meat. That means the world is my buffet. Yes, sir. And I'm a pterodactyl, so I can eat stuff like fish because I can swoop in and ah, get it from the water itself. So everyone, build your habitat. And let's see who has the coolest one. It's going to be me. No, it's going to be me. And since I'm a pterodactyl, I need a place to perch myself up super high to have a whole view of the land. So we have to make a super duper ginormous mountain. And instead of doing it by hand with cobblestone, we're going to use the magic wand. And we have to type this special command so we could brush in a mountain. So let's make this mountain super duper high and ginormous. We're going to make it go all the way up over here. And oh my goodness gracious, this mountain is a huge wait let me add some more right over here and oh, i'm gonna make it peak all the way up over here let's make it thicker all around like that and whoa this is awesome sauce so, since i am a pterodactyl this shall be my nest because i'm actually like a giant bird and birds are cousins to dinosaurs so up over here we got to make my ginormous nest so let's grab some hay blocks and let's make a super duper thick base over over here so let's make it go all the way wait i need to make it like not fall off the side so we can make it go from this side all the way around here like that then make it go down this way then finally connect it all over and whoa this is ginormous so let's set the first position here and the second one there then set it all to some hay blocks boom oh my gosh awesome and a nest is normally circular so we have to make this circular and oh gosh, that's gonna be a little bit hard, but let's try our absolute bestest. Let's go around this way, then build down here and make it go all facing up. Then we wanna make it evened out. So over here, we wanna make it go down and around like that. And oh, wait, this is actually coming along pretty good. It's coming out circulatory. Now we gotta make it go down this way, like this, all the way around. Then let's set the base like that and then boop all of this and oh my gosh This is going to be such an awesome house now. Let's make it go down this way like this boom Perfect now. Let's do the same over here on this side and oh my gosh Lily your place is actually starting to come along really good. There's a bunch of trees Thank you. I'm gonna add a bunch of leaves. Oh nice really smart so you could have unlimited food Oh gosh, Lily's place is looking so Super cool, but ours is looking cool as well. So let's set the base finally on this side, then throw down all of the hay like this, and oh, whoa, we have our ginormous nest complete. Oh gosh, wait, some blocks are missing, but that should be no problem with our magic wand. Let's set it real quick, and then we could do the same over here. Set it all down, and oh, kaboom, nest 
has been made. Oh my gosh. I have a bird's eye view of the whole world from up here. But this place is kind of empty. We need to make it a lot more homey. So oh, I have a really good idea. Let's spawn in a tree right over here. And we can use... Ooh, how about a miner tree? This thing looks really cool. So let's grab some bone meal. And we're going to need some grass as well. And we could throw one down here. And then kaboom, grow it in. <gasps> Whoa, that looks so cool. But we have to do our own additions. Because I want these leaves to cover us from any rain. Because since we're so high up in the air, that means we're close to the clouds. And I do not want the clouds raining in on us. So let's put the leaves all around on the top like this. And we can follow the design I already had by curving it downwards like this. So all the rain is going to fall down out over here all the way down the mountain. Boom. Perfect. And let's just do the same on all these sides. Let's make it all even like that. Throw some up over here. And wow. Awesome sauce. The top is now looking pretty good. Now we just got to make it so all the rain will slide off super duper easily. Whoa, Holmes. Your place is looking awesome. Oh, thank you. Ah! What the what is that tree, Luke? Oh, oh, nothing. It's just a small tree. What? This thing is insanely big. I've never seen a tree that ginormous. Yeah, and I like to eat the wood like this. What? Arf, eat the wood? Arf, not, arf. Luke, you're an omnivore, not a wood eater. That, that's not a thing. Dude, I told you the earth is my buffet. What? That, that's not exactly what you said, Bob. All right, if you like it. And ooh, I have a good idea. I'm going to grow a second tree right over here to connect it to the leaves like that. And oh, whoa, it worked perfectly. Now I can throw leaves all on this side like this so we have a nice roof. Then I can fly over and do the same right over here. Let's make sure that the top is all good and kaboom. And wait, Lily, did you copy Luke's tree? No. Th that, that's literally the exact same tree as Luke's. <laughs> what? Are you serious right now? Okay, maybe I did. Oh my gosh. It well, was yeah. so awesome. Yeah, Luke, your tree is pretty awesome. I'm the king of the trees. Oh my goodness gracious, but my tree top is now complete. Let's go. This is super duper saucy, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me take a look at it. And oh, that actually looks so awesome. And wait, wait, I'm gonna put another sapling right over here so it evens out the look of it. And oh, yeah, that looks so much better. Now we're protected from any rain. But wait a minute. We have a really big problem. What type of habitat doesn't have a place for us to get food from? So we need to build a ginormous lake over here. So let me set the first position down over here and the second one all the way here. Then let's set it with some water just like that. And whoa, perfect. But this isn't really a place for fish to live. It's just a super tiny lake. We needed to go down a bunch more deep. So let me set the first position over here. And then we got to dig down a bunch of blocks. And oh gosh, I can't fit because I'm a ginormous pterodactyl. So that means I have to make a ginormous hole just to go down even a little bit. But this should be deep enough. Now let me set all of this to just water. So, oh, wow, it clears it all up. This is awesome. But it doesn't really look like a good place for fish to live. And I need a bunch of fish so I have food to eat. So we have to make this place an amazing spot. So let's grab some coral so some fish could spawn in. So let's grab some blue ones, some pink ones, some tube coral, some red ones. And that should be good. Now we got to replace the bottom over here all with some sand. So it could easily grow everywhere. So let's just set all of this to sand like that. Boom. Perfect. Now let's throw down a bajillion bunches of coral. This is going to be a fishies paradise. They're going to love living here. Let's set some pink coral going up and around like that. Nice. Some normal tube corals going everywhere like this. Oh my goodness. Some pink. Then we could throw some fire corals all around here. Let's grab some bubble coral blocks. Ooh, this looks cool. And we can make it go like up the side like this and all the way around like that. And oh, whoa, this is actually starting to look really, really nice and tropical. Now we could put like a really, really big and fat blue one over here going around like it's a ginormous tentacle. Ooh, really, really cool.
cool. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. And wait, we didn't use any of the yellow ones. Let's grab some yellow horn coral and we could throw a super duper big one going up just like this all around. Oh my gosh, awesomeness. And we could even make it like go up to the surface a little bit over here. And let's do the same with some of these corals. And now they should start growing on their own because we placed down so much and then fish will spawn as well. Awesome sauce. So we have to make this look a little bit prettier because why is there just light blue concrete in a habitat? Like, look at Roxy's and Luke's. They change it out with grass. Yeah, the grass is pretty awesome. And what, Roxy, what the yo are you building? An awesome volcano. What? Oh, nah, a volcano. That is so cool. And whoa, Lily, your place looks awesome. Wow, there's even glow bugs on her trees. Do you see my waterfall? What? You have a waterfall? Oh my gosh, and wait, wait, I want to do that too. I can make such a cool waterfall from all the way up over here if I throw down some water blocks. It <gasps> makes a super cool waterfall, but ah, it needs to show from the front over here. Wait, let me add some water this way like that, and <gasps> whoa, maze balls. Wait, let me throw some more water over here, and oh my goodness gracious, this actually looks so cool, but I need to put a little border over here so all the water will fall into the big giant lake like that. <gasps> Whoa! Lily, check out my waterfall. I got inspired by you. Wow, that looks amazing. I know, right? It's super duper saucy and oh my gosh, it just gave me an idea. I can make like a secret flying hole over here so when I fly through the water, it could take me up to my nest. And to do that should be pretty easy. All I have to do is just stand in the middle, then type out a command to summon some TNT and kaboom! I can blow up a hole inside the mountain just like this and oh gosh wait we gotta cover up the evidence so let me cover it up with some blocks like that make sure that no one can see the secret hidden waterfall and boom oh, this is so cool wait where did ohms go ohms ohms oh my gosh she has no idea awesome sauce now i gotta start putting some tnt going all the way up the mountain from the inside just like this and oh, we're almost to the top of the nest and wait a minute i have a good idea i'll just make it so we can go through the mountain over here like that and then we go through the other side like this and all the way up to the nest that is awesome oh my goodness gracious but hmm i have a really good idea let me make the roots look like it's connecting to the mountain like that and oh yeah that looks so much better so it looks like the nest is actually being held up and not just floating on air and that looks really good for this side over here now let's do the same make the root go down and around here like it's connected to the mountain supporting the nest nice and then we could do just a little bit over here like that and oh my gosh that looks amazing balls this is literally a perfect habitat but now we have to fix right over here because i said i wanted to make it grassy and ooh, i have a good idea let's set all of this to some grass blocks like that and we can make a trail leading up the mountain so let's grab some path blocks and let's make a staircase going all the way up here like this in case we ever have any human friends or friends that walk like Roxy, Lily, and also Luke. They all walk. So we got to make a path for them since they can't fly. So let's place the path going all the way around. And ooh, wait a minute. This is actually perfect because right over here, we can make a giant hole. And then we can continue the path on it. Oh gosh. Uh, th there's a waterfall over here leaking. We got to cover this up. Oh no. Hey, hey, waterfall chill, chill. No need to keep going down. We need you to chill out. My friends need to cross too. And oh, ooh, perfect. It stops at the exact place we need it to. Now we can just break these. Then put the path again. And oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Okay. Wait. Is, is it chill? Oh, nope. It's not chill. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. The water is going crazy right now. I need you to stop. And ooh, okay. Good. We can now continue the path going around over here and up. And and look, check it out. It leads right to where my secret hole to fly is. Awesome. Oh my gosh, we're almost all the way up to the nest. So let me put a turn here, then make the staircase go up and around.
around here and oh my gosh are you serious we're still not to the top this thing is so so high up let's just turn it up this way and then up this way and oh, kaboom we made it to the top of the nest baby this could be like the walking people entrance awesome sauce but now we have to like add more mountains so let's use the brush command again and wait we got up oh gosh wait i need to make it so it's like a mountain over here okay okay yeah that should be good and oh gosh i made a little oopsie are you serious right now i gotta carve this out but i don't want the stairs just floating that doesn't look right so let me just replace all of this down which actually is a super duper easy fix and i think it looks nicer because now we're going through the mountains instead of just a random area on the side of it and boop 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 and we just connected again awesome sauce now it looks like we really go through the mountains and then we go up and around over here then up and around this way until we reach the top of the nest awesome sauce now let's swoop on down and wow there's still no fishy friends oh goodness well i guess we have to spawn them in ourselves so a pterodactyl loves salmon so let's spawn a bajillion salmon in the water baby you guys are gonna inhabit this area this is your habitat just like how up there is mine now let's also grab some cod spawn eggs and let's spawn a ton of them inside over here and oh, wait i have an idea as well we should add an ecosystem so let's throw in some sharks i'm gonna throw in a hammerhead and a frilled shark oh my goodness gracious it's like a whole ecosystem over here so the fish like salmon eat on the coral and then the sharks eat on the fish this is awesome and then i'll eat on the sharks because i'm a pterodactyl and oh, do pterodactyls eat sharks hmm, i wonder no but t-rex do what oh my gosh and whoa rocks your volcano came together pretty good and oh my gosh lily your place is coming together really good look at this awesome tree i found whoa nice uh, but i just realized something i'm like a giant bird and i don't have a giant tree everyone else put down the super mega ginormous ones and i say i should put one as well so let me put some grass blocks over here and this could be the area where the giant tree grows so let me set a platform and let's put it down like that now let's see what saplings look like they would be big and <gasps> robust twilight tree sounds ginormous so let's grab that bad boy and let's see can i put four down and does it grow like this and why, why is it not <gasps> oh my goodness gracious yep i think i found the tree this thing is awesome it goes up super duper high whoa my habitat is looking so cool and wait a minute if i fly all the way up over here i could look down into the water with my pterodactyl eyes and then i can swoop down to get my food come here food you're all mine and hmm, i will bruh did all the salmon get eaten and the cod i think these sharks are a little too op yep they were shredding them oh my gosh mr shark not cool dude you got to go man you got to go i Let thought you were you gonna up. Up. Oh, 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 oh my gosh you just ate the shark but they literally ate every single one of the fishes dude not cool i know it was you don't try and act innocent now yeah they was going crazy oh my goodness look at this dude trying to hide from oh hey no you're not hiding from the pterodactyl come here and accept your faith boy okay nice and now I gotta repopulate all the salmons. Let me spawn in a bajillion of them like this. And you know what? There's not gonna be any predators in here, guys. It's just gonna be nice animals like fishies. Because I'm the only predator here. Let's go. And oh my gosh, I got three salmon and seven rock cod from that hunt. So that was pretty successful, baby. But hmm, we got the nest and the tree up here is a little bit empty. And I know exactly what a giant pterodactyl a bajillion years ago would love to have. And that's a treehouse on a a giant old-fashioned tree so let's grab some cool log blocks and oh my gosh there are so many but i really like this canopy tree log so we should make the tree house out of these bad boys so let's make the base of it go down and around over here like this then make it go all around and we can make the frame out of these logs and then we can make the actual walls out of the planks of it so boom the frame is being built let's do this side up over here here like that and we can make a frame up over here then finally a frame all the way here now we got to connect them together so let's set them all down like that boom then make this one connect over here then make this one connect and finally we got to make this one connect all the way down here boom they're now all connected awesome
Come on. Now let's look up what plank would be good with these logs. And ooh, I think spruce would look really good. It kind of matches. So let's set the first position here and set the second position there. And then boom, spruce planks, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now let's do the same up on this side. Kaboom. Throw the next side over here all with some spruce. Then we could put this one here and then connect it over like that, pow! And then we got to make the base of it just like this. And kaboom. <gasps> Whoa. Treehouse has been set with walls, baby. And oh my gosh, we need to put some windows so I can have a view. And ooh, I have a good idea. We can make the window a ginormous D. So let me make it in a D shape like that. And <gasps> D for dino, baby. It kind of looks like a D if you, if you like squint. Yeah, that's a D. So let's grab some glass and put it all up on it like this for the D and duh, not really looking like a D. Wait, what about now? Wait, how about now? Okay, I'm, I think I'm making it worse. Okay, wait, that looks like a D. And wait, I have another idea. I'm gonna make the next glass window an I because I'm gonna spell out dino for dinosaur. So we have D I. The next letter would be an N up over here. So let's set it down like that, Dine. And then we got to put the O, which is also my favorite letter, Dino, baby. Oh my gosh, this is awesome, D-I-N-O, Dino. Yep, yep, it's Dino. And since this treehouse is only gonna be accessible to me and my, oh my gosh, I was about to say diamond eggs, but I didn't spawn any eggs. Why the heck do I have an entire nest without eggs? So I'm gonna try and lay one at, ah, ah. Oh, okay, it's not working. Hmm. Instead of laying one, what if I just built one? And maybe it could hatch. And ooh, stripped birch wood kind of looks like an egg color. So let's make an egg over here like this. Kaboom. And oh, the egg has been placed. You will be born into an animal or something. I hope. I don't know how that works. But the treehouse is looking pretty swag. But it is completely empty on the inside. But hmm, we need something that a dino would love. And oh, I know a fish buffet. So let's grab some tropical fish, some puffer fish, and what, blob fishes. Oh my gosh, I did not know that was a thing. Uh, ooh, catfishes, that sounds delicious. And flying fish, whoa, this all sounds amazing. And we can grab some water and a bunch of glass panes because we're gonna make a little aquarium, but it's gonna be like an all-you-can-eat aquarium, kind of like a buffet. So let me place glass all around over here. Then put a bajillion blocks of water on the inside side then oh, whoa flying fish oh, what the oh nah catfishes are ginormous and what flying fishes oh they can fly hmm probably should have thought of that we gotta make this a lot bigger of a area oh gosh okay wait let me cover up a second layer over here like this so none of the fishes can't escape it oh my gosh catfishes are ginormous and wait is he inside the tank yo oh gosh he's not inside hey mr catfish go inside the tank please hey, no don't die don't die okay <gasps> phew that was a close one but let me put one of each type of fish guys i'm trying to make a buffet so we got the flying fish catfish then oop, a cod and we could throw in a blob fish and Whoa, the blobfish looks so goofy. And we could also throw a puffer fish who's super cute and some tropical fish. <gasps> Whoa, oh, you can eat. So I could just hop out of here and go nom, 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 delicious. Uh, hello, what just happened? Where am I? Wait, what? It sounds like there's a girl and <gasps> it's coming from my nest. Down over here. Wait, what? It's coming from my nest and oh my gosh, the egg hatch and <gasps> I have a baby. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Wow, the crystal. Whoa, you just got born into a dinosaur. Babes, what are we building here? This is my awesome pterodactyl habitat. Oh my gosh, you're like my little bro. Come on, check it out. I built a tree house. That's what I'm working on right now. And it has all you could eat food, baby. Wow, this is awesome. I know, right? It's super lit. But hmm, what else should be in a pterodactyl's tree house? Any ideas? Pterodactyls are just like raptors. They they eat meat and vegetables. Oh my gosh, we're omnivores. So since we have all the meat up here, we should also put some vegetables and fruit. I'm getting watermelons. Ooh, delicious. I know, right? Okay, okay, let me throw down a bunch of watermelons up here. Oh, you can eat for me and you, Crystal. And is cake considered a vegetable? Yeah. 
basically. Oh, nice. So we can eat a bajillion cakes. Oh, yeah, yo. I love cakes. Let's throw a bunch. Yo, that is not a vegetable, Ohms. Luke, stop hating. It totally is a vegetable. And hmm, what else should we get? <gasps> oh, how about some yummy, yummy, delicious pumpkins? We can make pumpkin pie with that. Awesome idea. All right, let's throw a bajillion pumpkins down. And whoa, treehouse complete. We got our fishies over here. All you can eat. And this is going to take forever to eat the catfish. But we also have some watermelon, some cakes for nutrition, and some pumpkins. And we could go all the way down over here and swoop up some food. Yay, this is awesome. I know, right? But everyone, the time is up. Meet up in the middle. Let's see. How about we go through <gasps> Roxy's place first? Yay, my place is literally awesome. Who give us a tour. Give us a tour. Everyone else, we have to rate it, including you, Crystal, all right? All right, babes. Let's do it. So, Roxy, what's up first over here? So, first, when you just, like, walk in, you just admire all this beauty. Wow. I'm admiring it. Same. This is beautiful. And is that just a tiger? Um, don't look at that. That's supposed to be for a different part. Oh, okay. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. But, whoa, what is this? Oh, nothing. Just an awesome volcano. Whoa. Whoa, amaze balls. I love it. And it just erupted. Uh, I can tell there's lava spewing everywhere. Awesome. And next, we can eat some pigs over here. What? what? Oh, no, no, no. nah. Nah, Lily didn't see anything. Leave the pigs alone. Roxy, Lily loves pigs. They're so innocent. Oh, uh -huh. no. Nah. Oh, he's chewing on them. He's chewing on them. Oh, oh no. Nah. He's munching. Great. This Roxy, is crazy. Roxy's a munch. Roxy's a Oh, that boy just got smacked. Roxy, how dare you? Oh, well, no, Lily, no, 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 he is no, no, a T-Rex, no. so that's what he does. Sorry, you can't do anything about nature. Yeah, it's the circle of life. Yeah, Lily, the circle. It's a circle. Oh, at least I saved a few. Yeah, uh, Roxy, are you going to eat them later? Yeah, I'm not going to eat them right now. Oh, okay, very smart, very smart. But, oh, wow, what's this over here? Oh, this giant awesome pond. What? A pond? Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, because T-Rexes can also eat fish, right? Yeah, it's awesome, and I can also eat this giant whale thingy majingy. What? Dude, that's an orca. Those are more powerful than sharks. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I can just one tap him. What? Oh, nah. Roxy's that guy, pal. He's literally that guy. Agreed. Roxy is him. And wait, there's more. What? There's more? Oh, my gosh. What's more? Um, last time you saw the tiger, it's actually for all of this. Whoa. Is this your jungle? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because you need food to eat. So you have <gasps> ginormous elephants, alligators, everything you could want. And wait, you eat tigers? Yeah, sometimes. I love them. Oh, my gosh. You are crazy. And wait, can you one tap an elephant? Oh, yeah. Bye. Oh, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Roxy's literally that guy, pal. He's that guy. Yo, oh, my gosh. He just ate an alligator. Ew, uh, that was really good. Yeah, that was gross. But wait, Roxy, what is this over here? That's a human house where I'm going to eat the humans. What? Roxy, we're normally humans. Ew, I didn't really think about that. Oh, my gosh. But this place is awesome. Wait, wait, everyone. We have to give them a rating. Um, I'm thinking like an eight. What are you guys thinking? Yeah, I think eight is good. I think a nine is good. This place is awesome. All right, fine, Roxy. You get a nine out of ten. Let's go. I'm going to eat so many bears for that. Oh, no. Nah, not the bear. Not the bear. Oh, oh gosh. I'm not looking. I'm not. That's disgusting. Yeah, but <gasps> Luke, it's your turn. And oh, my gosh. What the what is this? Why is this structure destroyed? Because it's a giant rock. What? No, really? It's just a rock? Are you serious? Yes, sir. Ski, come pull up. Oh, okay. I'm pulling up. And is there anything special about this rock? Or Oh, my gosh. Are there things inside the rock? Yeah, I eat mobs and animals, too. Whoa. Is that a witch? You, you eat witches, too? What? what type of diet is this? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they have a weird aftertaste. What? Wait a minute. Is that what I think I see in there? Is that a, a, a mutant zombie? I swear I just saw one. At, dude, there's a mutant zombie in here. Yes, sir. Those guys are good eats. And what? This is a blue. Blue slime. What type of variant is this? It's the blueberry version. What? You one tap them? Oh my gosh! And what? There was fish inside the blue slime. You're getting a double combo wombo. Double protein, baby. And what? Roxy joining in on you. Let's eat. What? Okay, I want to eat too. I'm eating the mutant zombie. Come here, boy. And what the what? That boy's running away. Hey. Yep. Oh, delicious. Oh, he's bussing. I know, right? What? Lily, really, you can't eat this food. This is yucky. Uh, yeah, I could tell because you're a uh, herbivore, but I can, like, kind of enjoy it. I'm eating a bone right now, guys. Wow, delicious. Ew. 
Ooh, oh, oh, crunchy. Yeah, very crunchy, but ooh, cool rock and <gasps> what is this, Luke? Oh, this is my pig chicken tree. Ooh, why? They just like hanging out in the tree before they get eaten. What? Oh my yeah. gosh, are you serious? <laughs> why do you guys love to eat pigs? Because they're delicious, Lillian. Wait, does this lead upwards, Lukey? Yes, yeah, sir, Ski, but to nothing special. What? Are you serious? Let me fly up. And this is so much quicker than climbing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And whoa, this is such a cool view. I can see everything from up here. Yeah, and if you really want, you could eat the leaves and the wood, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. I, like, kind of love leaves because nom, I'm an nom, omnivore. I'm Roxy, do you like the leaves? Ew, it tastes like icky. <laughs> it tastes icky? Oh, my gosh. What about you, Lily? Mm. This is really good. Lots, oh my gosh, Lily's munching on it. But look, what else is there in here? Oh, I have a little pond back here where I eat all the fishies. Oh, nice. And wait, this could also be a jacuzzi. Everyone chill in the jacuzzi. Let's chill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is awesome. I know, right? We're all just chilling in a hot tub. But wait, Luke, is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it. All right, everyone, we have to give Luke a rating. Come, let's discuss it on the rock. It was it? As good as mine, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, Roxy's had a little bit more spunk to it. So, but how about a seven? Do you think a seven's good, Lily? Yeah, that's about perfect. Yeah, you think so too, Crystal? Yeah, babes, I agree with you. All right, Luke, you get a seven. So that means you're in second place. Let's go. I'll take it. Nice job, dude. And oh, whoa, Lily, your place looks awesome. Is this giant fruit? Yep, it's a grape right here and an orange right there. Oh my gosh! And this makes sense because, like, back in the bajillion years ago when dinosaurs lived, everything was a lot bigger because the oxygen was like something about it. I don't know the science, but something about it. Dude, you're a scientist. Yeah, thank you very much. I went to... I didn't go to school, but thank you very much. Yep, and they're delicious. Taste the fruit. Alright, let mm -hmm. me taste it. Mm, it's actually not bad. Wait, Roxy, do you like mm, it? Yeah, juicy. It's salty. It's salty? What? It's literally filled with sugar. It it's right delicious. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. It's all mine. It's all mine. Oh, awesome. I get a little bite. Oh, good. And... <gasps> giant waterfall what is this lily isn't it obvious it's an awesome waterfall that leads up to here what you have a chilling area wait is this just like a place to eat leaves yeah you guys should try it hum. uh roxy do you like the leaves it tastes like dookie <laughs> what Ew. dookie oh nah but what about you luke do you like the leaves yeah they're not bad well yeah that's because you're an omnivore and hmm, it's not bad for me either it's okay and oh, you also put a giant tree nice yep look at Awesome it is. It's just like Luke's. So. I know, right? And wow, this place is really cool. Is that it? Yep, that's about it. Mm -hmm. And I already know the score. This one was a little cooler than Luke. Sorry, Luke. So, uh, Lily, you got a 7.5. So you're in second place. Roxy's in first, and Luke is in third. That's fine. These places are awesome. I know, right? But guys, it's now my turn. Check this out. Ooh, this rock is humongous. Yes, sir. This is my mountain. So first of all, we have a ginormous waterfall over here that leads to a lake with some coral, and I might already ate all the fish. What? I wanted to join out. Well, here, I'll throw some tropical fish. There you go, Roxy, if you want to oh, eat any. Yeah, oh, my yeah. gosh, she's going crazy. <laughs> and then over here, we have the waterfall leading down, but since I know you guys can't fly, there is a path you could climb up through the mountains. Wow, well, how generous of you. I know, right? It's awesome. Then over here is a nest, and this is where I had my baby and my baby's crystal. Yep, I was born here. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Whoa, super 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 cool. I know, right? And that's the nest, and it's connected to the mountain. And then over here, I have a ginormous tree house. So you guys could just like fly up, even though you're not allowed to. Just fly in creative mode. And here, if you look at the windows, read what it says. Lily, spell this out. What does that letter say? Yeah. yeah. Then what is this letter next to it? Um, I. Yeah, yep, yeah, I. And then what is this letter right over here? And Yes, and and then the last letter, my favorite letter. Oh. Yes, and what does that spell, Roxy? What does that spell? Uh, no. What are you? Dino. <laughs> what Dino? No, Dino. Guys, are you serious? Uh, ooh, ooh, darn. Oh. That was a four-letter word. Oh my goodness! And what? Wow, all my fish they spawned. Oops, sorry, I ate it all. And, hey, Roxy. Really, dude? You ate the catfish? <laughs> Fish was buzzing for real. What? What? Oh my gosh! But over here, check it out. We have vegetables. Lily, do you like them? It's really good. Thank you. And what? Rock to jump on bears here. Oh my gosh! Is that a bear area? Oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Guys, yep. enjoy the vegetables. These are really good. Yeah, they are very good. They're vegetables, right, Luke? Yep. This cake vegetable is buzzing. I know. And the watermelons are amazing. And yeah, this is my treehouse. Do you guys like it? Yeah, especially the pumpkins. And now, guys, check it out. When you guys see food down the lake, you can jump and. Swoop inside and catch them! Whoop. It's kind of hard to fly without wings. <laughs> yeah. 
I can tell. But, yeah, that's my build. Do you guys like it? Let's discuss, everyone. Oh, they're discussing. Okay, I hope they give me a good score. Discussion complete. You get a 9.5 out of 10. You win. Yeah. Uh, yay. 9.5. Awesome. That was so much fun. And that was an awesome adventure. And if you want to join us on the next, click right here. Bye. Bye.